Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important property uh, connecting the uh, Dirac delta function with its uh, derivative, right? So in this lecture I uh, will prove this important property of Dirac delta function that is x square times the second derivative of uh, Dirac delta function is equal to 2 times the Dirac delta function itself, right? So let us start. So viewers, to prove this property, uh, let us start with the definition of Dirac delta function, right? Now see, uh, we know that the Dirac delta function is defined by this integral uh, that is minus infinity to infinity and here we have f of x and delta of x minus a dx is equal to uh, f of a, right? So the Dirac delta function uh, at the point x is equal to a is defined by this expression, right? And we can also define the Dirac delta function by this uh, integral that is minus infinity to infinity and here we have delta of x uh, dx is equal to uh, 1, right? So this expression or this integral uh, shows that the total area bounded by the uh, Dirac delta function in the uh, neighborhood of x is equal to 0 is 1 that is a unity, right? So to prove this uh, property, uh, we'll make use of one important uh, property of uh, Dirac delta function, right? So we know that if we have this integral that is minus infinity to infinity and here we have some function f of x and here we have the nth derivative of uh, Dirac delta function, uh, then this integral is equal to minus 1 raised to n and here uh, we have the uh, nth derivative of this function on which the Dirac delta function acts is f of n and here we have x and we calculate the value of the nth derivative of f at x is equal to uh, this point that is a, right? So this is an important property of Dirac delta function involving the nth derivative of Dirac delta function at that point uh, that is x is equal to a, right? So we'll make use of this property uh, to prove uh, this one, right? So now uh, we'll start with the integral uh, that is i is equal to minus infinity to infinity and here we have some function f of x and here uh, we take uh, the second derivative of Dirac delta function at some point uh, x is equal to a, right? So to prove this property, uh, we'll start with uh, this integral, right? So here we have the second derivative. So here we have the double prime. So uh, the double prime indicates the second derivative of delta function. And here we have the nth uh, derivative of uh, Dirac delta function, right? So what we have done here, uh, we have taken n is equal to two, right? So in this expression, we have taken n is equal to two. Right? So now if we apply this property uh, to uh, this function f of x, then we have minus 1 raised to n, right? So n is 2 because the second derivative involves here. So here we have 2 and then we have the second derivative of this function uh, at x is equal to a, right? So here we have x is equal to a. So now we can see that minus 1 uh, square is positive. So we are left with the second derivative of f uh, at x is equal to a, right? 
So now see here we have x square times the second derivative of Dirac delta function in the left hand side, right? So what we will do, uh, let us replace this function f of x by x square, right? So f of x is replaced by x square so that we get x square times uh, the second derivative of Dirac delta function uh, at x is equal to a, right? Further, we can uh, replace uh, this a by 0, right? So once we uh, make these changes in this integral, then see uh, this integral i reduces to minus infinity to infinity for f of x, we have x square and here we have the second derivative of Dirac delta function at x is equal to a, a is 0. So we have x minus 0, uh, which is uh, simply x, right? So now we have this term that is x square times the second derivative of Dirac delta function. So now this expression is equal to uh, this one, right? That is the second derivative of f of x at x is equal to 0, right? So the second derivative of x at x is equal to 0 because a is equal to 0, right? And our uh, f of x is x square. So let us find the second derivative of f of x. So f prime of x is equal to 2x because the derivative of x square is 2x and then the second derivative of 2x is simply 2 because the derivative of x is 1, right? So we can now replace the second derivative of f of x by 2. So here we have 2. Uh, which is evaluated at x is equal to 0. So this is simply is equal to 2, right? So we see that uh, we have this integral minus infinity to infinity. Here we have x square and the second derivative of Dirac delta function that is equal to 2, right? And now uh, to get this term, I uh, will make use of uh, this definition of Dirac delta function, right? So we will uh, uh, see we have uh, this expression, right? And here uh, we can write uh, minus infinity to infinity x square, the second derivative of Dirac delta function and this 2 uh, may be uh, written as 2 times 1, right? And this one uh, can be replaced by uh, this integral, right? So we can now write 2 times the integral minus infinity to infinity. Here we have delta of x dx, right? Now if we take this 2 inside the integral sign, uh, we have uh, integral minus infinity to infinity and here we have 2 times delta of x uh, dx, right? So now if we compare this integral uh, with this one, then we can see that this expression is equal to this expression, right? So comparing these two integrals, we have x square uh, times the second derivative of Dirac delta function is equal to 2 times delta of x. Right? So this is how uh, we can uh, prove uh, this important property of Dirac delta function connecting the Dirac delta function with its uh, second derivative.